What up, everybody? It's your boy Plug and Play coming at you one more time. I'm jumping back into my old schedule here with these Infinite Warfare zombie bounties. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's a little bit of nostalgia. I feel like I was doing really good back then when I was doing these bounties, so I'm giving them another shot here. Willard's bounty, 500 sniper kills. Neil's bounty, 50 um, of those cryptid kills. No sweat. It's going to be a piece of cake. Those cryptid kills, beast from beyond. First couple rounds, they're easy spawn. 500 kills with a sniper, that's probably going to be a little bit tricky, so let's go ahead and walk right through it. Now, my first mistake I noticed was joining into a public lobby. Um, I noticed right away that those cryptid kills, they kept getting stole by teammates, and they didn't spawn enough for me to finish the challenge, but running up to the mystery wheel, um, I got super lucky right away, gave me the damn sniper rifle, and I gotta say, this camp spot here outside, amazing. Up until about round 20 or so, this is like a one-shot. I think I got rid of it um, in like round 15 or 16. Uh, but anyway, the one-shot kills on these zombies, amazing. And later on, you get C4. Now, if you remember from one of my videos earlier in the year, I mentioned this, how awesome the C4 was uh, in zombies mode. And being able to block spawns, I believe that video was in Shaolin Shuffle, as a matter of fact, camping out with the katana in the pack punch room in the theater. Um, throwing that C4 over the zombie spawns, like here, um, and it really helps out a lot, especially when you're trying to do sniper rifle kills. It prevents the zombies from spawning, and you can pretty much direct which way you want the zombies to come and which way you want them to come towards you. Uh, so as you can see right here, now I've blocked off the two spawns close to me, and uh, they got to come from a distance. Max ammo, it gets some more C4 in my inventory. And I see a spawn there. I'm going to wind up blocking. And there's another spawn there to the left by the posters that I really don't like. So we just go over there and we make sure that we block those spawns off. Now I did switch to that DMR1, um, which is a sniper rifle that I just got out of the mystery wheel just fucking around. Uh, and it wound up being super awesome, especially because of uh, director's cut. It comes out of the wheel already packed. But as you can see here... Blocking off zombie spawns. Now they have to come to me from a distance, which makes all the work with this sniper rifle just one shots. Makes it super easy. Don't have to watch my back. And it made this challenge almost a breeze. Now, as you can see right here, the irony in the entire challenge was I managed to finish the 500 sniper uh, kills with a cryptid round. So it was kind of surreal, but. Nonetheless, guys, super easy challenges. Thanks for sitting through the another shitty video. Sorry for the poor quality. I was actually playing some Fortnite while I was waiting for this video to render so I could edit it. So now I've learned not to play a game and record while I'm rendering another video. The processor just can't handle that much power. In any case, thanks for sitting through it. Thanks for listening to me ramble. You guys stay easy. Take it easy. Whatever the fuck you want to say. I'm going to be dropping another video for you here in just a little bit. It's going to be a two for Tuesday here tonight. So stick around. I got a Fortnite video coming for you real quick. You guys take it easy. Hit that like, comment, subscribe button down below. So small YouTube channel, some love. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace. This odd bullets I'll have to resort to stabbing.